guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. You guys, today has been a long day. Oh. As I was saying, today has been a long day. But to set up the day, let's rewind to last night. I was brushing my teeth and flossing after dinner. I got, I had something between my teeth because straight up honesty, I'm not a big flosser. Uh, but I was flossing my tooth and a cavity, a filling popped out of my tooth. And so I had to call no, 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 the- no. It was not just the filling. <laughs> what else came out? Okay, part of my tooth also came out. So not only was it the filling, but a little chunk of my tooth. So I had this big hole in one of my back molars. So uh, I called up a, a dentist, everybody was closed. So I had no appointment scheduled or anything. Thankfully, I didn't have any pain. There was no real issues. So I called them again this morning and thankfully they were able to uh, work me in. So long story short, I have actually already been into town today, gone into the local dentist and so thankful that I did not need to get a root canal because I was pretty positive with an old cavity have, or with an old filling falling out that they would have to drill even deeper which would then get to the nerve and she was like you were this close to needing a root canal so that with the last yeah tube it too? was the same Jeez. I okay we're since we're being honest here I sucked at taking care of my teeth for the longest time even into adulthood I really wasn't that good it was just as of late that I would say I've started taking care of my teeth better flossing more often and that kind of thing so anyways uh, super excited that, that is taken care of I no longer have a hole in my mouth so with that being said we're gonna go and get some food because now I can eat <laughs> Lead the way. Are you going to go all the way in? How deep are you getting? So Maverick has no desire to go and touch the water, but Goose has been asking to go touch the water since we got here. Luckily, we're both in flip flops. Oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's not bad at all, actually. So they had a thermostat up there, guys, telling you what the water temperature is. 76 degrees. I cannot believe the ocean here is set. that's so warm. You getting a little high? Luckily my flip flops float. <laughs> Ooh, I got it. Hey. Maverick, you made it! You came out! And the Wawa gotcha! So does it feel like 76 degrees? It's quite warm actually. See, this is what I think of when I think of Florida. Look at how beautiful the palm trees and everything are. That's crazy. I'm not that impressed with the state park that we're at right now because, I mean, it's beautiful, but the bugs. Oh, you okay? okay. What up? Anyways, like I was saying, the bugs at the state park that we're at are like 
they kind of kill the mood. But this, this oh. is beautiful right now. Oh, I might stop there. Say what? He diseased our children. I know, poor Mav looks like her face has got the uh, chicken pox, but it's just those darn mosquitoes go after her every night. Oh. What is that? Is that a fish? Alex, your first one in the box. Is that a fish? What do you see? What did you see, love? <laughs> what is it, mom? Look at it! That's a dolphin. So if you're in the Naples area, the pier is definitely beautiful. But mommy, what did you think of the pier? You recommend check it out? Or? Yeah, it's gorgeous. They do have a little restaurant out here where you can get burgers and ice cream and I think pizza. hot dogs and that. Oh, they do have pizza too. But I think we're gonna go try and find an actual little sit down restaurant and enjoy it someplace in a little bit more kid friendly environment. Cause when we're out here on the pier, we obviously have to hold on to Mav's hand at all times, we'll be carrying her. And she is not a slight child. <laughs> I like Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah. What did you see out there? Dolphin! How many do you think you saw? Maybe like four? Like one or two. Four of them? There was actually more than, like, I was surprised at how many we saw and they kept coming up. So, it was pretty cool. I've heard, I saw in comments online that people had seen dolphins out here before, but I wasn't quite sure if we would see any. But we did! So, honest time here. You guys know how much James and I love our coffee. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like hot coffee when it's hot outside. Shock! I mean, I like it, I just don't wanna drink it. <laughs> I don't wanna drink it. And James doesn't really want me to go to, you know, Starbucks all the time to get my cold coffee. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the UKEG Nitro Cold Brew Coffee Maker by Growler Works. No, this is not a growler. This is an all-in-one coffee maker. This passes our must have more than one function if it wants to be in the RV test. It brews the coffee, it infuses the coffee with nitro, it dispenses, it keeps it cold. I mean, the list goes on, people. It fits in our RV fridge, so I know it's gonna fit in any fridge. And the other nice thing is, if you don't really wanna use power because you're boondocking, this does not require power. I love it, I love it! So I can have my hot coffee and use the power in the morning, and then in the afternoon when it is way too hot to have that coffee, I can then have this. So if this is something that you're interested in, head on over to their Kickstarter where they have already blown it out of the water for reaching their goal. And you guys can learn all about it, from how to brew it to what it does, and if you want your own starter kit, you can get $40 off by supporting them now. All right, what are we doing, this? <laughs> All right, we have Goose versus Mav, Sith versus Jedi. Oh no, the Sith has been wounded. Are you okay, my little Jedi Sith? Hey, I don't remember Darth Vader ever needing his boo-boos kissed. Goose, just be a little more careful, okay? Go! Go, go, go! Oh, look at those moves! Look at those Jedi moves! Oh! Look at her pigtails, you guys. This is the first time Mav has ever had little cute pigtails. You saw that one, Goose? Yeah, well, they know the sound of our boats. They can actually hear There's Sparky and there's more Hey, what was that? Was that? Oh, birds? We were saying birds, not dolphins.
shoes they're showing off for you. <laughs> so Goose, what's all on there? What is that? Vanity. Oh, very cool. Are you trying to find all those? Is that what you're doing? How about you, Matt? Are you gonna find all those? Oh, you already found some. We, apparently she already found the upside down bottle nose. Yes. Little known. Little known dolphin in the world. Are you coloring the dolphin? Yeah, that's the dolphin. Good job. The same dolphin the water. There's no bone structure in that dorsal fin. So if there's a cut through that, that's what's driving. Is that cool? So if you guys couldn't tell, we are on a dolphin tour. And we've only been out here for what, 20 minutes at most? Yeah, maybe. And we've already seen dolphins jumping in waves. We've seen a mom, a grandma, and a baby. This is crazy. What do you think so far, babe? It's amazing. There's one just sitting in the front of the boat just following us along right here. <laughs> Did you see it? The boat's over 11 o'clock again. There's a little guy, seven years old. Oh, right there. Right there. Right At least five dolphins over here. Two of our big males named Notch and Gap. We're surrounded by like four or five different dolphins, and we're in this super shallow three foot water right here by these houses. This is so cool. I don't even know where to look right now because there's dolphins everywhere. Look at this. They're just swimming all over the place. Oh, and there's two up front right now going under. Whoa! <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Has a three generations. This is we have so the cool. Baby, the mom, and the grandma. Did you, I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's a three generations out there. We have the grandma, the daughter, and then the granddaughter all out it's here a swimming. That's so crazy. They're just hanging out in these people's backyards. How would you like to live here, guys? So how many have we seen so far, babe? There's like 12 so far. 12 so far? That's crazy. Oh, there they are, Goose. So we've made it to the portion of the day where we get to get off the boat, come on this island out here, and and start searching for some shells. Are you ready? Oh, the water touched it. It's actually quite warm. That is nice. What do you think, love? What was that, Mom? Woo! Oh, dolphin, dolphin! Come Where? On. Right over here, right over there. At your 12, James, almost towards 11. As we were pulling into this island, there was dolphins just swimming around here. So hopefully, while we're shelling out here and playing in the water, we can see some dolphins out in the distance. This is beautiful. Honestly, I could not have asked for a better day. We got some light, fluffy clouds giving us some shade every once in a while, but it's still sunny and beautiful out. Mav, what do you think of the water? She's not a big fan. So we want to come out with Dada? She wants to... Oh no, Mommy, she was floating away. Show me that one, Goose. Let me see it. Whoa. Whole, I can see it. Hey, that is cool. Look at that, guys. Goose is just finding a boatload of shells out here. But seriously, this beach is just nothing but shells. If you look at it, there's shells everywhere. You can't even not step on them. I know, right? That's so cool. Oh, Mav showing now. Mav, what'd you find? You get some shells? What do you think, Mom? How do you think of today? Oh my gosh, this is this amazing. This has been so cool, right? Oh, too bad the other kids couldn't have come. They would have I know. Been this is the kind of stuff we were hoping to do with Papa Al and Grammy and Sammy and all of the cousins and everything while we were on the cruise in Cuba. But unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to. Let's see how full her bag is. No. We're gonna have so many shells by the end of this trip. <laughs> this is like Goose's favorite pastime: is finding seashells. I got this many. All right, let's keep going. Shells everywhere! Seriously, babe, I can't get over how wonderful it is here. Amazing. You can't stop smiling, right? Yeah, it's crazy. 
She's picking up every little piece and chunk that she can find. We're gonna have so many shards of We're gonna have to leave these shells probably at the next beach we go to because I'm not gonna be carrying around two giant bags of shells in the RV. Oh, seriously, today oh, is I beautiful. Know. I love it. Look at these babies. Baby ones. Baby shells. Baby shells. And the water is so warm, you guys. If I had my swimsuit, I would totally go swimming. I can go swimming and eat away. Why not? Because you have a change of clothes. All right, dive in. Go. I'm not diving in. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Mommy, I just stepped out of the water. What? <laughs> I went like this. <laughs> I'm allowed to push you because I, you have clothes to change into. Can I sit down? Mommy, yeah. can I sit down? She's you can swim. Great. Good oh. job, man. Oh. <laughs> How does it feel? Good. It's wet. Oh, oh, good job, man. She has a diaper on. Oh. <laughs> Nerds. There's that. All right, all the way under. Hold your breath. One, I'm not going two, under. three, go. Don't you dare. <laughs> Smash you. Good job, Mav. You're doing so good. Good job. Can you, can you blow bubbles? Quick. I need my your shirt. What happened? Hey, did you get all wet? Can yeah. you blow bubbles, Mav? No. No, okay. I'm blown. Okay. A random, is it oyster? What kind? I was say, what kind of clam? No. Clam? I don't know, what but it's disgusting. It? it has like little barnacles oh, on it. Disgusting. That's awesome. It just looks Gross to me. Are you just sitting in the water, you weirdo? <laughs> I am so excited when we get down to the Keys. Spoiler alert, we're going to the Keys in the future and we're gonna be spending over a week. Oh, a pelican just dove into the water for fish. We're gonna be spending over a week in the Keys where the water is gonna be warmer than this. So excited. <laughs> uh, this guy, oh, look at him go again. Did you see that? He... Daddy. Are you floating back? <laughs> You're so silly, man. Did you almost fall? What? So unfortunately, our 45 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes here on the beach is up. <laughs> this kid keeps wiping her face. She does not like salt water on her face. Anyways, our time is up here on the beach. So we got to head back. But this was so, I cannot tell you, the water is so warm. Come on, let's go. But uh, I think the tour is almost over. I think we're gonna basically cruise back, but this tour has been so cool. Honestly, I cannot recommend it enough. So I'll link it up down below if you guys are interested in the exact tour we took. But you guys have a good day? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Matt, did you have a good day? Yeah. You have fun? And it's not over yet. They're still picking up shells. So the tour is over. Did you have fun? No. Oh, okay, don't go on the tour. It's horrible. It's hot. <laughs> we are. So Super duper sweaty, but we're gonna go fix that by going to a local brewery here, getting some pizza, maybe a little beer off tap, right, mommy? I don't. Why are you pointing it at me? Oh, and this breeze feels so good. But oh uh, honestly, guys, that was a pretty amazing. What was that, mom? Amazing. Pretty epic tour. Uh, so definitely, if you get the chance to go on some sort of dolphin tour check it out because it was totally worth it and i'll link up the exact company we went with down below you got it come on man yeah oh straight in nice shot love it feels so good to be back in the rv after being out of it for a week you guys but remember until next time stay positive get out there life is an adventure so make some memories